Hello explorers, it's time to leave. Get back to the ice cave or the ice barrier. Continue our journey to the beyond. Now it's night time because we have found all the bodies. That's interesting. So it actually changed the day of time of day because we had found all of them. It's a bit easier to see things in the night. satisfying at all to solve. If you have a solution and you haven't found, uh, or if you have a problem and you haven't found the solution, it's really hard and you wonder what could the solution be and when you find that solution it's very satisfying that you solved something hard, but when it's just a fetch quest and you, yeah. Missed it? That's a different thing. Yeah, you had uh, the light on this. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Now this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, shine, shine. Let it shine. So let's see if we found the lost spirit now, so he can move on and we can get through the ice barrier. That would be nice. Continue on our quest and find the last part to the murder mystery. Did we take a photo of this and save? Or no, we did not. Take this photo. Press E to save and jump on and continue. So I missed a lot of the nice wall. Now he will walk on, I hope. Are you ready, dude? The last phantom. Lost in solitude up until now. Join the others in the forest's darkness. Free at last to enjoy an eternal, well-deserved slumber. Yeah. Carl was only beginning to understand the horror which had struck his village. He understood that the dead were piling up and that he couldn't help them by himself. The road was clear for him. He needed to push further north and fast to find help. Yeah. We got through the ice wall, we got through the ice wall. So now we should find a little shack, I believe. A bit up here, we saw it on the map. That's pretty much all we know about landmarks so far. So there's another passage. Another diary. Carl felt like someone was trying to communicate with him. Or was it simply the result of happenstance? Withdrawal. Oh. Pause 
closet. Some steaks. Air gun. Because we don't have any flares. Hatchet. has outwitted me. It's aware I know all of its weaknesses. It's aware of my strength. It is the predator become prey. Though some unknown force it was able to create a wall made of ice between north and south. The beast did not want to be disturbed. I have found a way. It's my destiny to stop it. It's progressing fast, not stopping even for a moment. What is the beast feeding on? Hate? Cold? Fear? The elder spoke of a wendigo. They said it would never return. No warrior, they said, could want to invoke it. The elders were wrong. The wendigo comes from the great spirit. It appears full of hate. With great thirst for vengeance, the beast I'm tracking seems to be blinded by hate. Frustrated, my bolt missed it. It screamed. I thought I could hear its voice behind the bellowing of the beast. The warrior's voice. It was already re uh, really the beast running from me or a man made a prisoner inside. It's tracking two unfortunate white people, already doomed. It smelled them. It's moving slowly, methodically. We're, I will not reach them in time. Perhaps the thirst for vengeance will never be satisfied. Perhaps the beast is unable to reach its intended victim. What if it started to head south? What if it started terrorizing white cities? They would turn to us with planes and bombs. They would decimate our people. White people think only they are allowed to strike. The beast must be stopped. Okay. So the hunter's journey. Keep that picture. And let's... Picture of that. So anything in here. And another journal entry. So there's nothing more here at the camp. Let's look at the map. There's more up ahead. We are far from the cabin I was thinking about and there's a tower as well that we can visit. Let's journey on. Carl had found what he was looking for. He needed to get back on the road. Tower. Okay. So the next order of business. Check out what we could have observed, I guess. And fire starter. I'm a fire starter. that the place was still inhabited less than 24 hours ago. His detective sense tingled, revealing to him, or was it the strong smell of wilderness in the air, 
that there were most likely two men. Pierre, I just wanted to remind you there were rules. Rules that are meant to be followed. Whether you like it or not, I hear that you've been poaching a lot lately. That you don't even care about being discreet anymore. Heck, I don't even have a chance to pr pretend I don't see you these days. If you continue to turn a blind eye no on this, what will people say? You're going too far this time, buddy. I have to find you, Wilfred. Okay. Thursday, Pierre September. the poacher Bleu was definitely not the one who lived here. Indeed, Carl learned earlier that the man had recently been shredded to death by, allegedly, beasts. Pierre, I thought I told you you went too far. You really hit the last straw this time. And everybody, everyone knows it's you. My friendship with you, uh, with your brother, won't save your skin anymore. If you dare touch a single tuft of fur within my jurisdiction, I swear you'll regret it. Like the nice hunting cabin of yours, eh? I'm thinking of hanging a huge padlock on its door. Would be pretty, uh, would be pretty, don't you think? Point is, if you keep going on, you'll be the one behind padlock and bars in the county jail of Rulin. Take heed, buddy. Really, take heed, Wilfred. Okay, so... He was hunting things that he shouldn't be. There should be a rifle hanging there. Its owner may not be very far. The jacket was still soaking wet. The poor man had, surely unwillingly, had a taste of the pond's water not too long ago. According to the pay stub, that poor man was Alexandre Blé. Okay. was unlocked. Carl felt kind of disappointed that he wouldn't have to solve the mystery of that padlock. Well, it's not much of a mystery now, is it?
Jesus. It was so cold, already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Okay, so there's two paths over the river. And we have tried one of them and couldn't get past that one. So we need to try that. had been busted down violently, and a burnt smell filled the air. Half of the cabin had been consumed by flames. Carl surveyed the chaotic scene, noticing that someone appeared to have intended to use the furniture as bonfire fuel. Carl had no idea how such a mess could have occurred, but he knew it didn't bode well. Cold turned into pain. Carl needed to find someplace warm. busted down violently, and a burnt smell filled the air. Half of the cabin had been consumed by flames. Carl surveyed the chaotic scene, noticing that someone appeared to have intended to use the furniture as bonfire fuel. Carl had no idea how such a mess could have occurred, 
but he knew it didn't bode well. Seems like the elements showed mercy to those nice and solid looking planks. Of course we can build a bridge. Uh. Let's see where what the map says. So that's the ruin, the burnt cottage. And then we have one ahead of us. Should be a bit more interesting. Less burnt. Right until that point, Carl had believed that the object of this crossbow hunting had been a ravenous wolf who was terrorizing the village. But as he noticed the height at which the bolts had been fired, he concluded that the beast had to have been as tall as a man on his feet, not unlike a gorilla. The thought was chilling. Seems like this place was long deserted. Carl, the explorer. Just one more move for Black to checkmate White. Chess master. Okay, so I've done all the chess moves required. That's good. terrain I guess maybe we'll see something else maybe we'll not so let's continue Complaining was not in Carl's nature. It would take more than light injuries to interrupt his investigation.
let's see here. We're there. So we should head in that general direction. Two more victims of this ice plague. Carl felt a chill down his spine. What if he was next? Maybe I need to go around. Sanctuary. Carl felt the strong pull of a vision overcome him. simple hunting accident. There was Hamilton. Carl recognized him. So he shot the woman? A major hunting accident. Doctor examined the young woman. But death couldn't be overturned. She was dead. Yeah. So they buried her. It was not the type of body you buried in a big ceremony in the village graveyard. It had to be hidden. No one could know about this. So everybody was... The best way to do that was to have a simple-minded man bury the poor girl. Lamotte, the mechanic. They were involved, so that's why they were killed, I guess. The doctor denied the unfair death of the young woman, but Hamilton had him in his grip. Hamilton knew all of the poet's secrets and wouldn't hesitate to reveal them. I know all about your crimes, you little communist. You know mine. What a sordid affair. So the big reveal. Carl understood the ins and outs of the affair. A woman had been killed in an unfair accident, and a young warrior had damned himself to avenge her. responsible had already been killed and so the beast could not quench its thirst for vengeance and now recklessly Carl had pulled the bolt from the beast's heart a beast who was but a young free man lost without his fiance and who had out of hatred 
become Wendigo. Okay. Does this mean that me without any bullets should kill that thing? Seems 
like we got away. We are still under dis duress, so we can't stress. We can't do Ah, look. We got to some village. So can we get inside? But sadly, no. So, here's How do you do this? like swimming. When you disappeared, so did purity. I would defend purity against the winds, the tides, against ice and blizzard. You Could it be that all this was but a story of justice and vengeance? The soulful doctor, avenging his fiancée's unjust death by avenging this young woman as though she was his lover. Are these passionate feelings not precisely the kind of feelings that could cause a storm, petrify people deep inside, create monsters? in the end there. Good leaping uh, bowl of uh, moral cake. So, um, yeah. It was very solidly done. And uh, by uh, looking at the size of my recordings, the uh, <laughs> graphics was quite uh, a challenge as well. So, and I, I think it was beautiful, it was well done, it was well thought through, um, thought through. Um, I made some really stupid mistakes when I didn't trigger some events, and uh, they had some small tidbits in it, this uh, little hunt for clues or uh, small uh, maps were amazingly fun even though the reward was not that great one thing that um, I think was a little sad was that you didn't really know when the big uh, fight was uh, supposed to happen and you didn't really want to have that much on you because through the whole game there was not that much of a challenge or that many enemies so you didn't bring all your weapons and so on so when you finally got to the big boss 
you didn't have anything and felt really uh, felt really vulnerable. But then again, you could run from it, so I guess that's good. So, do you find me? Or what's... A survivor! On a a man alive. We found a man alive. Thanks to all the backers. Yeah, and here we have a list of them. Take a listicle. So this was one of the games that I didn't back. I uh, back a lot of games. This was one that uh, really was under the radar for me, so something that I missed. I saw uh, Girl Gamer Gab, or Gamer Girl Gab, uh, playing it and uh, thought that it looked amazing and fun. So without looking too much, I think I saw a few minutes in the start of her episode. I realized that this is something that I want to play, so I turned it off and waited until I got the opportunity to play it myself, and I think it really paid off. It was a fun experience, an interesting one. And um, yeah, I think the families was very well flushed out. It was a got a lot of good dynamics there. I didn't really get the, the different, the, the love story and, and the baby where that came from. It was a name that I didn't recognize, so I was thinking that it was maybe a relationship in town and uh, that wasn't in this village per se. But uh, I thought this Romeo and Juliet story between the kids was really nice, that they put those in there. And also his addiction to find the uh, aliens that he thought he saw and that he built this little saucer. That was really fun as well. And his little secret hideaway was a fun little addition. Even though it took me a while to actually follow all the cables and so on. But it, it was a good puzzle. And um, yeah, a lot of interesting... Maybe not new puzzles, but fun puzzles. The only thing was the, um, the fetch quest when you missed some things and you couldn't figure out where you should go to actually find the items. And it wasn't really clear to me at least that you had to find all the petrified bodies. And uh, yeah, I forgot to click one of those. And in my vid one of my videos you can see that I really l are frustrated that I don't know what to do on the roof. And that was revealed later on, so... Yeah, but... A solid, beautiful game, a fun experience, and if you have the time, please do play it. I hope you liked this video series, and I hope you subscribe to the channel so you can see more interesting games like this one. And I really hope to see you in the next series. Until later.